sun have you got going, Lucas? Dude, I'm th- yeah. yo, Friday nights have been really lit, literally. Where have you uh, moved? I, uh, Keswick. Uh, this, is this, Keswick. Is, this is Keswick weather. <laughs> nice. Nice. You like that? I do. I think I might move out there. I actually moved my whole house there. It's the same wall, same room, and everything. I just same moved house. the house. To it's like those that show where you see where they like move the house on like the back of a truck. You've seen oh, Property cool. Brothers, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> it's not Property. Don't want the twins, Basil twins. Yeah. No, that's as story. you can tell, I'm I'm trying to audition as one of the brothers today. Nice. Dude, you, you have like those... the long lost Mexican brother. No, no, you have the right complexion. I'm pretty sure this is how they look. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah close. I might have been, I might have been left out in the sun a little longer so, than that. So one has a thick beard and one has no beard. So you're gonna be right in the middle. I'm the middle one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick, you haven't man. cut your hair yet, have you? No, not but I tell. should. Um, <sighs> Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I baited right into that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the property brother who spent too much time in Keswick. <laughs> that that natural Keswick son. That son. <laughs> <laughs> it's strong, man. I'm telling you, I can barely see. I can barely look at the camera. I'm just looking into the, the sun. Like the sun's <laughs> actually outside my window. Yeah, I bet. I'm on the uh, 377th floor. Like I'm like right in there. I'm oh, right in there. Shit. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Pretty sick, dude. I the built bird. my house on top of a condo. How much the... did the real estate like that for that that plot of land there cost you? It was pre it was, it was pro- part of property property brothers, right? So they flipped my oh, house shit. literally upside down on top of a condo. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I thought that they were sounds... just gonna flip my house and like sell it and make profit. Like they li- physically flipped my fucking house. That like, sucks. Like with their fingers, like a little heck deck. Yeah. Your house. Yeah, just like that. So, so are you, you like, like those always stuck on one floor since like the stairs to what would have been your bottom floor is like in the ceiling now? No, actually, no, it's, zip line. It's a you zip all oh, sick. You I, zip yeah, line. install zip lines instead, and like electric ones too that take me all the way through my house. I have a, I hold the switch, and as I hold it, it actually just takes me around the house. This guy's got like a gondola in his house. <laughs> yeah, a gondola. Yeah, I don't do weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's gondola. fucked up that you'd accuse me live. <laughs> Of marijuana. It's legal, bro. Ganja. It's legal. Yeah, it's not like it's a problem. Um, do you limp? Like, is it like right on your back that you hold it so that like, you can like go around like all like <laughs> fucking dead weighted? So it looks like you're just like floating around your. No, ass. no. Actually, what it is is just a dog chew toy, and you and you just no, latch on. Same. Same. And I was then gonna, you hold on. You're gonna house? say your jawline is coming in nice, bro. Yeah, right. You guys like that? Shit, my back was also <laughs> just perfect. <laughs> Oh, ridiculous. No, I'm like the hunchback of Notre Dame because he just straight up climbing shit. Yeah, like, your, fa- your like face looks like his too. <laughs> Yo, at least he gets... I was going to say he gets it that sweet thing at the end, no, but, but he doesn't. No, he, gets, no. he gets it stolen. Yo, I don't think I've seen that movie from start to finish. It's been so long. Like I don't. Know I watched what it recently. It. Yo, Disney has an alternate ending where he gets stoned to death. No. Like just, Can you imagine? Like, <laughs> is that the... Go- yeah, I was going to say, is that the gondola? <laughs> the gondola. <laughs> The Gondola of Notre Dame. That's actually, that's, you know, his humpback. Title. His humpback's actually an extra lung, so he can be that that's much right. Like That's why he's like that. He's like, holy oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> that's where he hides his weed from the cops. He just, ah, that's just that asshole's back. It's the hunchback, but really, he's, yeah, he has like 16 ounces on his back at all times. He's Ooh. strapped. <laughs> yeah. He's right. That's why one of his eyes is always smaller than the other. He's just fucking lit. The, actually, the movie's actually about his perspective. He wasn't actually at a masquerade. He was just that high. It was just a regular <laughs> town selling shit. Yeah, yeah. All those vendors. They try to offer him a tomato. He's like, I don't want your fucking mask. He's like, okay, dude. Oh, gosh. Is he back his idea. first name or his last name? <laughs> last name. It's his, it's his MMA name. It was Quasi Hunchback Moto. <laughs> That's the motto. Mm. Hey. Um... Yeah, just before this, we were talking about um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, using Sick. using applications not at all what they're designed for. I'm, I was trying to do <laughs> interior design of like planning my my accent wall in my living room with Photoshop and uh, yeah, what kind of not, accent are you going to do? Not it? going well. French, uh, Fr- yeah. like a French accent. Oui, accent aigu. Accent aigu. Yeah. Oh, like accent, always, uh, what does that mean? Accent aigu. Like is, is that like left? a gooey, like a sticky accent? Something good. It's gooey. It's very gooey. Gooey? Yeah. Yo, hold on. I, I'll be right back. I have to get beers for I, I, I left them downstairs. I did not even think about that. I forgot. Wow. As you start a topic? Wow. I know. Uh no, I'll, actually I'll go get it in a sec. Um, oh, go get it. That's fine. No, no, go for it. Go for it. It's fine. We're just go. teasing you. 
Go, you piece of shit. If you're going to leave us, leave us, man. Yeah, ruin the show. Bye. Fuck you. Good to see you, man. You know, we actually probably... Sh- we shouldn't even talk while he's gone. We should just... Yeah. Should we change? Like our our behavior? What the... He's fucking right. Tony Stank. <laughs> it's Tony, Tony Stank. Stank. Uh, yo, no, no, no. Um, what, what was it? Dustin Stark. Dustin Stark, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Dustin Stark. Yo, where are your sunglasses? Are you going you gonna to no, find some right now? I, I have none around me. Dustin oh. John? Elton Sorry, Dustin What about John? these ones? Oh, fuck it, dude. <laughs> You're doing the nasal massage? Yeah, I'm, I'm really congested. Damn. Yo, dude, those glasses are sick. Yeah, it's we're... Like no I'm one either, ever. I'm either uh, Dustin, <laughs> Dustin Stark or I'm uh, Elton... Elton Dust. <laughs> Elton Dust. <laughs> Yo, I have um, a lot of points to talk about today. Yo, dude, let's we... start with, did you hear what George Bush said? What? When he was talking about how one man single-handedly had basically started the war in Iran, and then what? corrected himself and said, "I mean Ukraine." <laughs> oh my! <laughs> no, is this real? Yeah, this is real. It was on. Maybe he said Iraq, Iran, or Iraq, one of the two. But it's real. Yeah. To be honest, though, isn't he one of those guys though that and he, he, he says something outrageous? His, he tried to blame him? it on his age. He's like, ah, oh, that you know. is so so much <laughs> trauma from Iran slash Iraq. That's funny. At least he corrected himself. He didn't just go with it. Yeah, because Joe Biden would have just went with it. In the pictures, you should see his face, like when he realizes, like what he said. He's like, "Oh, sorry." (laughs) I'm white. I'm getting canceled for this. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't think he can get canceled. He used to say some funny shit. Like, "My name is George W. Bush." The W stands for honesty. Was one of the best lines I've ever heard in my life. (laughs) Did he say that? Yeah. When when someone said, "Like, yo, you understand that." so, That's there, was so an, funny. there was an attack in the states and three brazilian died and he said how many is that in million i d- yes i knew that That was yeah. fucking hilarious this, this is what he said sorry the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of iraq i mean of ukraine he's talking about himself yeah he's talking about himself he's like, like yes. yo he played he uno, he uno reversed himself That's so, he's, good. so he's like sorry man i was thinking about personal experiences my bad guys yeah <laughs> been having a rough day uh, yo, there is an argument which I not I don't want to say I almost got into an argument with someone because uh, I get into arguments all the time and lose plenty. But uh, yes, there were these two guys talking, and I think this was at uh, like, a, like a Tim Hortons when I was going in for a coffee, and, and like I heard them arguing a point that is something you can't really argue against without sounding like an asshole. So they were talking about the school speed limit dropping to a thirty, and I wanted to put my input. And I'm glad I didn't. This isn't how I feel about, yo, that's way too low. But do you know how much of an asshole you sound when you're like, yo, we got to speed up around kids in a school zone? There's no way you can get into that argument without sounding like a fucking prick. Yes, Being you like, can. Sure you can. Let's Teach them responsibility to look both ways. Yeah, it's true. What, are we going to coddle them through their whole lives? I don't think that's going to fly or else. But like the thing is like. No, but you know what is going to fly? Me down that school, <laughs> school zone. <laughs> Drifting. I mean, I'm talking to you. Um. <laughs> And it depends, though. Like, it should only be... It, it, it's enforced all the time, right? Like, in certain areas? Yes. Yeah. Like, it the fact that it's, like, hours. school zone 30, outside of school hours, it's 40. It's, like, make it a regular road at that point. Like, yeah, it, there's not supposed to be people at school. So. What is I mean, little Sally doing at 4 in the morning? Like, fuck off. Let me drive, please. <laughs> Yo, she's, she's, she's one of those teacher's pets. She's there hella yeah. early. Fucking she's ready. Sally. Fucking Sally. Speaking of like, telling, and to kind of go off of that, to, speaking of like kids just like walking in front of the street, literally one day I was driving um, in like in, in my old area and I could see this kid was playing on his front lawn and there was one of the houses that like their front lawn just like was on to like a main street Oof. and I could see him playing and I was like getting ready. I'm like, I have a feeling this kid's going to fucking just walk onto the road. And he did. And like, I was like super prepared. So I stopped like, and the mom like screamed at the kid, but it was like, I was grateful that she didn't blame me for almost hitting her kid. She was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, like, you have nothing. Like, I didn't hit the point. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, good. what are you talking about? And I assume that you weren't speeding since you were aware of the kid. No, I was going like, down. I was going like probably 30. And I was like, this, kid's <laughs> this, this guy was going 90 out. in the 60s. In the <laughs> She's like, I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize we had a NASCAR driver on the street. <laughs> <laughs> to make it more dramatic, I like, I like slammed on the brakes, like almost to went like, ah! But it, like, I hit your head on the steering wheel and like look yeah. up and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> My back is broken. Kid. My yeah. back is broken. You're like, go out the window. Spinal. Sp- spinal. 
Oh, so good. But, uh, yeah, I don't know why kids just... And it's not like he was, like, chasing anything. He just decided it was time to play on the road. Well, <laughs> honestly... It's time to die. <laughs> Let's take this to the well, streets, it's your time, baby. it's your time, you know? Yeah, no time to die. This guy, this guy, uh... uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 007 uh, reference? Foreshadow the 007 movie uh, fucking 20 years in advance. Yeah, Crazy Except shit. he changed it to uh, always time to die. <laughs> exactly anytime anytime Anytime. he gets up in the morning he's like could be any time now baby he gets up he's like whoa that's a nice way to live life you know always assuming you know it's like your last day so you live it to full every moment's your last moment yeah that's That's exhausting though that's That's exhausting crossing the street that many times and not looking both ways to be honest (laughs) eventually you just want to take a peek you know it's getting kind of risque a little fomo speaking of all that shit though i follow a subreddit called idiots and cars and it, mm-hmm. it worries me to drive sometimes because of how, yes. obviously they show you constant idiots in cars and they're all from different countries. It doesn't mean it happens sure. every day or to everyone, yeah. but my God, people do the same thing. They'll turn left and not look both ways. They'll merge lanes, not even take a look and merge like three lanes. One of the, one of the worst ones is when people are going and swinging a left lane, like a left turn on an intersection and they automatically go to the very far right. Yes. Yes. It's like, dude, like, what are you doing? Like who gives people these licenses? Yeah, it's true. I've seen some people drive that I'm like, how did you blow them in the car? Like a reverse, a reverse, uh, like reverse roadhead. They're driving and doing it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be impressive. If you could pass an exam like that, yeah. Like pe- people talk about the Fast and Furious thing where like Paul Walker's like staring the girl in the eyes while he's driving. Like that's so hot. Nah, nah, nah. Give me roadhead while you drive. Yo, but you can do it nowadays because you can put on VR goggles so you, and have like the cam set up at your dash. <laughs> so you can actually go to town and, <laughs> and be looking. Whoa. This guy's I'd puke. Yeah. I'd puke. Why is why why does it sound like you know that from experience? Because <laughs> like he like hides his VR set. <laughs> Lee, Lee's like he's like, why did you buy both my VR sets last month? <laughs> <sighs> Been a busy week. <laughs> I have the best five star rating on Uber right now. <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, you guys, you guys, good back there. We got water, snacks, Lodo. <laughs> I bet even if you did that, you'd still only get four stars. <laughs> it's, so <laughs> bad. it's so bad. You lost rating. <laughs> you use a little too much teeth. <laughs> Do you have like one of those menus on your back seat that's like, here's what you can offer? And then when they yeah, ask yeah. blowjob, you do one of these? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> just say the word. Yeah, or just say the word pumpernickel bread. She's like, why do you want me to say pumpernickel bread? I'm like, <laughs> huh? <laughs> you just activated my trap card. <laughs> they can't get out of it either. They're like, no, no. Like, you lock well, the doors. <laughs> obviously, I warm them up. So as soon as they enter the passenger seat, like I reach over and do the seatbelt for them. And I'm like, hey, nice. hey, 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 stranger, where are, you, where are we going today, pal? <laughs> Kiss him on the to, cheek. To pound town, Be safe. Baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get you there nice and safe, okay, big boy? <laughs> Strap in and let's go, buddy. Can you imagine if uh, Uber drivers did the whole mom hand thing? Like, you know, whenever moms break too hard, they like stick their hand out, like stop you oh. kind of thing? Imagine oh, an Uber man. driver doing that. Fuck off, Jacob, me, uh, Jacob does that actually when he drives. Does when, he? When he'll, he'll like put his hands in. The first time we worked here, I was like, I'm not trying to touch your boobs. I promise. So I was like, I don't know. Mm. I was like, the, the the light was is like probably 40 meters in front of us. You have way more time than you think. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Yeah. yeah, the evidence is stacked against you, my friend. He's like, yeah. he'll just keep picking. Oh, kids crossing the street, like slam the brakes. Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what are you guys drinking tonight on this Friday just, afternoon? Just beer. Uh, Getting fucking lit. More gin and tonic. Yo, I'm. Uh, Glenn owes me a bottle of that because I bet against the Leafs. Hell yeah! Way to go, Tampa Bay. You, you gonna get the yeah Empress 1908? Yeah. Because yeah. I also bet against the Leafs. Yo, it's so good. Delish. I don't think so. It's not good. Uh, so yeah, I've got a good question for you guys. Okay. How do you know, do you know it's a good question? Because I think it's good. We'll tell you if it's good. Okay, Let's hear it. I think you'll. I think. I think at least Lucas will agree with me. I now hate it. What is the difference? Yep. Between pasta and noodles. Pasta is the type of noodles. No, no. no. You go to an Italian person's house and say, "Hey, can you pass me the spaghetti noodles?" They'll fucking murder you. They'll kill you. Dead. I, I feel like pasta is like 
the dish as a whole. Like it, it could be inclusive of sauce, but not necessarily. Because I could say, what are we having for dinner tonight? I could say pasta, and you'll know it's some kind of noodles and, and with sauce. Yeah, with a sauce and a and a flavor. I think that's if we're having noodles, you're like, <laughs> it's like that's it, like ramen noodles or what? So is oh, there a, sorry, is oh. there a definite answer for this, or kind of kind of look it up while you talk about? It? You can look it up, but I'll tell you what I think it is. I okay. think. I think pasta is the European version and noodles is Asian. But Asians don't use like spaghetti sauce. No, but they use noodles like Shanghai noodles and Can Cantonese I... chow mein. And would, you, would you like to hear the, the difference? Sure. Um, so noodles may be used, uh, maybe crafted using a finer kind of flour or a variety of different flours where pasta on the other hand uses a heavier, denser kind of flour to give it that weight, and it has to have salt included. Wow. That's the difference? That's an that is actual... The difference. I guess because... Guess. I guess because like, uneducated swine. Like, like general shrimp. towns, stuff like that. Like, or, or, like General towns, not noodles, but... Uh, <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> like, pho, like pho mein... I was say, I'm fucking up here. Lo mein, cho, chow mein, all that. Lo mein, cho mein, lo mein, cho mein. Fuck! I sound like such an ignorant piece of shit. Um... <laughs> Oh, I've oh, never uh, eaten anything but like butter I, and rice. They're Chow classified as, as noodles. Bro, my face is so fucking bright. Every time I look over, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What's going on? <laughs> I can't even see my teeth. No, your skin is as white as your teeth. What is... What? I'm sorry. I'm feeling myself right now. I do this every morning after I brush my teeth. You look like a comic Turn on your webcam. You look like a pastel. Yeah. Why is that happening? What what Stop. screen is so bright on your? It's not like, the screen, dude. It's, it's my window. Sun. There's a window right in front of my fucking face on the 770th floor, right in front of the sun. We talked about this oh, in yeah. Wisconsin. No, where did you say? Keswick. Wisconsin. Keswick. Sorry. Wisconsin. Will... <laughs> no, speaking of Wisconsin, man, the the 90 show is about to come out, and it's gonna have mm -hmm. a lot of the same characters from that 70 shows who reprise oh, really? their roles. So they're oh, still in their cool. roles because it's about Eric and Donna's kids, like all their kids now as friends. I'm like, oh. yo, I fuck with that because you have them. But I, I'm hoping the grandparents stay, like Red Foreman and stuff. I don't know. It's gonna flop. The show's gonna doing. suck. Please don't say that because that's only shows like my favorite show. It's I know. I like watched, but well, you know few, it's not. You know it's not gonna make a full it. episode of that show either. That show is sick. I, I do like that seven show, but it, it's a classic. Never work. Reboots never. Work. Chong is in it for a very long time. Really? Yeah, he plays like hides uh hides dad. Yeah. And he owns like oh. the record the record store and he's always high as fuck. It's so funny. Sick. Yeah. That's got potential. I just started watching Letter Kenny again. Some shit fucking joke. I started watching uh, Better Call Saul because of Lee. Yeah. Dan was watching. Very, was very it. slow start, but it definitely picks up and gets it a is. more interesting. It is slow, but it's yeah, it's a good ass show. I like it a lot. That was like Breaking Bad though. So it's kind of yeah. what I expect. Because Breaking Bad started off pretty damn slow. Yeah, it's a cancer patient, right? It's a cancer patient who's a teacher it's like damn this is pretty dark and slow at first then it picks up then it picks up it gets really intense and it picks up <clears throat> just picks, it up. picks up and leaves yeah i've got another question for you guys okay mm -hmm. if you could pick one muscle no nope. to be a hundred times stronger mm -hmm. to have a hundred times strength in one muscle one muscle yeah what do, you, what do you pick either my brain or my penis your brain is not a muscle your brain I is don't. a muscle your no, brain it's is not a... it's an organ i'm pretty sure brain <laughs> Is brain a muscle? Please, God, please give me this. The brain itself is not muscle. Fuck me, man. So yeah. <laughs> no, you're, you, you're a disaster today, dude. You're like low main, show main, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, I guess I guess my penis. I don't think the only other option. Either. No, I don't think so either. Okay, Especially then my tongue yours. muscle. Your tongue? Okay, okay like when you say my heart's stronger, does that mean like that? No one I said your have... heart. I said your muscle. <laughs> Yeah, but, no one's if like my, heart. If my, but if my heart's my, a muscle. Your heart is also an organ. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Then what's a vegetable? <laughs> the heart The heart <laughs> is a muscular organ. You're right. It's You're right. Is uh, Do you know what muscles are, Lucas? I have zero, bro. <laughs> the penis is also not a muscle. Yo, I'm going to take the seafood muscles. I, hope, I wish they were stronger. The it's seafood. an organ, dude. Dude, okay, so what this guy's gonna say every part of his body. This guy loses. The this muscles. guy fucking loses. Yo, my butt cheeks, my butt cheeks. My no, you only get one. You get so one. It'd be one glute. It's not. It's not mirrored. You get it's one muscle. Okay, yo, your my sphincter. sphincter. 
<laughs> what are you trying to pinch a loaf harder? Dude, do you know how you can just chop that shit off? Like, 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 <laughs> like it's it's yeah. going nowhere. Like, You're going nowhere. He's like, like, here, let me uh, prep some like fucking cheese sticks. This guy like puts literally blocks right up there. It's like the slap it's like chop. A, it's a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's like a slap chop. You just put celery in there, just crunch, crunch or the like nutcracker, bro. I ain't ever eaten nuts oh. at your house ever again. What the hell? Oh, uh, Sink is an interesting one. No, I don't know I if that also is in the muscle. Um, Yo, um, this is. I don't. Uh, I'm looking, I, at, I I'm looking say, at muscles, bro, so I don't I would fuck say you shit one up. Calf and I would be. I would be the um, triple jump champion, and my records would never be touched. With your one even, calf? I would never. No, but, I wouldn't even use my other leg. <laughs> Why, why triple jump? Why don't we just do the regular long jump? Because the triple jump, you have to jump on one section. You have to only use one foot. And I think... Yeah, I but the other section, advantage. you're going to fail. Yeah, that's true. A hundred times, right? Sure. You're going to make up for the shitty other calf. Like, my jumps would look like they were CGI'd. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, in yes. real life. <laughs> it's true. So, so if, that's I what I choose, if I choose, like, abs, it's only one ab. It's not the whole set. Correct. Fuck me. That would what be about your diaphragm? Too. It's actually an organ. Diaphragm? No, Yo, yeah, your diaphragm, diaphragm is, is an a organ. muscle. <laughs> Interesting. I would have said one quad. One quad. Quad. I'd pistol squat like a motherfucker. See? I'd be able to jump on one leg like a motherfucker. I think I actually have it. Please, God, be a muscle. My Whoa! Lungs. Yeah, I'm choosing my tongue. Your tongue? What yeah. are you going to do with 100 times strength in your tongue? Break everything in that mouth. And... And my Uber like, is going to reach five stars at the end of the day. Let me tell you. People are going to be all chafed down there. and be like, no, please, <laughs> God. No more human suffrage for me. Thank you. I would maybe say your diaphragm. I'm just curious like, what it would do. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do with that? See, I just don't want to choose one of something because it will probably be able to make say things like uneven. Fucker. Yeah, exactly. That's what makes it so hard. You only get I'll one. Choose, that or I'll choose my lower, like, my a lower back muscle. What are you doing with that? Like to help like support my spine. Oh, just be okay. if it's stronger and more just dense. Better yeah. support, sure. Yeah. The thing is everything works together that like a hundred times strength is like huge. So like if you pick, let's say, your forearms or your biceps or something, like you still need other parts of your body to facilitate that weight. Yeah, to, to do and the you're rest still, of the work. Yeah, you're still fucked. That's why tongue, man. Tongue's good. Tongue, tongue's an interesting one. Actually, maybe if your diaphragm was too strong, you would take in too much air when I breathed. Just die. Wow. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'd pick whatever muscle is responsible for this. And I'd Your do it like so strong. Whoa. I'd be so surprised when people told me things. What? <laughs> like like your eyebrows, eyebrows like, really, like, connect to your hairline? Yeah, exactly. And back down. <laughs> Fucking sick. Like curtains? That'd be sick, man. Yeah, right. I think, I think that's a good one. Like curtains. Like some blinds <laughs> that you just lift up and they just fucking like beef curtains. Wow, that's that's cool. Yeah, that's cool too. <laughs> oh goodness! What um, if I got you those as a housewarming gift, like curtains what? that go on a window that are actually beef? I would be so upset. It's not actual beef, like like they were textured to look like beef. Then I'd be happy. I'd be okay with it. Emma would not, hate it, but I'd be okay not with if it. they weren't real ones. You could just snack on them. Yeah, but the time it would take me to eat the whole curtain of beef, it would spoil. I have uh, flies and shit in my house. <laughs> it'd, be, it would suck. it'd be refrigerated. It, the, the, the outside would have this technology in it that it would keep it cool. So yeah, what the hell? <laughs> it's, it's fucking magic. It's but it, it keeps you beef fresh at all times. Like it's always fresh <laughs> yeah. until you consume it. Yeah, that's kind of sick. It's kind of sick. You could probably sell Yo, it. I, I looked up, spe- uh, speaking of house gifts again, I looked up that uh, smart coffee table. Yeah, I lied. It is def- the one I saw is definitely like way $2, more thousand dollars, and I was like, "Yes." Yeah, that's why when you said a couple hundred bucks, I was like, "Damn, what are you looking at? No, that's, that's sick." It's not worth it. I read bad reviews about it too. Really? Why? What's wrong with it? What are these bad reviews? Just like stopped working, or just is like not as not as like functional as it, really it, it, it. Yeah, you'd think it is. That sucks. Yeah, I wanted to get one too, but I guess uh, I won't. No, I'm just gonna get a, a nice little glossy IKEA table instead. Yeah, get a cheap one. That's lame. What's cheap? What's a cheap coffee table? Fifty bucks. I have no idea how much coffee tables no. go for. 
I would have said like uh, are, 150 are... bucks. Uh, that's that's like decent. That's pretty. Yeah. But it's like you're getting like very basic, like legs and like a like a not finished. Like it's finished. Like let's say you get black, but it's like a black tabletop with like legs, but it's very plain. Oh. Yeah, it's I'm expensive. Fine with that. I I like. I went from I was gonna get all of the renos in the house done, uh, with like my my mom and people helping me out. To where like now I've got contractors coming in next week to like if I just quote it what am wow. like, how how much for everything like floors like I went from like yeah it would be cool to like change the flooring in the the kitchen and then later I'll do the living room to now it's just like how much to just change it all at one shot yeah I mean you'll, you'll get, get this done. yeah you'll eventually just save money that way if you just do a lot yeah. and then it's just like satisfying the I'm just like do I get like how much to put pot lights in the living room so I don't need I fuck with pot lights. Pot lights are real nice. Pot lights are sick. <clears throat> pot lights make any room look wicked. Yeah. I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna put in the hue ones too that go any color. So yeah. when it's party time it turns Woo! into a club. Hell you yeah. gonna get one with a camera? So we can what? record shit. I well I can just get uh, that doesn't have to be that that doesn't have to be in a pot light. That'd be the worst angle ever. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> no, because you can get a pot light right on the wall, right? So stupid. You got pot lights that run all the way down the wall. Oh, sick! Yeah, yeah, around yeah, yeah. The, around the window, around the uh, like the balcony door. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's fucking sick right there. That's awesome. Yo, that's, add that in. Add that to the a, list. Yeah. Ask the contractor how much for good that. Good idea. It's mm-hmm. a good idea. Wow. Yeah, yo. Instead of decorating your wall, make it a pot light wall. <laughs> that actually could be kind of cool. And then if you do like a and then I a could light bright wall, I could get the. <laughs> What? No, yo, oh my god, do it. Go, you just plug shit in, it just starts glowing. These um, massive dildos, I you had... put it just a wall of sockets, and you just take different colored bulbs and you just screw them in. Boom, no, go. no, it can't be a screw in thing, it'd have to be like when you like insert. I don't care, go, go make it. Leave the episode and start making it. What about I? I did how many find... light brights do you think you would have to buy if you want to make like a, a wall of like the actual light brights? Because you can't oh, imagine the content is like, okay. yeah, we don't have the technology, like, okay. I'm gonna get some light brights. We gotta plug them in. He's like, yeah, I can make that work. Like 600. Do you think it's worth it? How many, how many is each light bright? I know. I don't actually think 600. I think it would maybe take you, uh, let's say 10 up. Oh, it okay, might be. Here a we lot. go. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the dimensions here. We're gonna work backward. So sure. it's it's eight and a half. It's eight, eight by seven inches, basically. A light ray is eight by seven and thirty three no. thirty three dollars per per segment. Did they use that big ones? I swear the oh, one that I used to play on the kid was the massive. classic one. This is the classic one. Eight by seven. That is small. And then my so my living room for reference is ninety two inches by two hundred and thirteen. So the, it's like, yeah, we're talking a lot. Hold on here. There's the light Zilla, the world's largest light bright. Now we're talking. It's a legit a full wall of it. Someone's already done this for you. Boom, let's go. Contact sales. Oh, in fact, I, don't you, I don't think you just... Oh, oh, here we go. Didn't Ikea have a pop-up shop in Toronto and they did that? They had like a wall what? with lights and they had these uh, like plastic cups that went in these holes. So like the plastic cup was the like supposed to be the light bulb. If you want eight, shit. an eight foot by four foot light bright, it costs a measly $20,000. For sorry, eight by six, eight by five is eighteen thousand. Six by five, which is a pretty big wall, a pretty decent size, fifteen k. Okay, you would need three hundred and fifty six light brights to fit my living room wall, the long wall. Wow. Yeah. Oh, they have yeah. a fourteen foot by six foot light bright, only thirty eight thousand. Sick. They Forget a car. These are nuts, though. I'm gonna actually share my screen. One of the cool things, and Lee, maybe you get this in the studio. I found this when I was looking at wallpaper. Mm. Uh, they have fucking whiteboard wallpaper, and I'm like, that is lit. Oh, as fuck. yo, can you guys that's see that's kind of cool? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's some shit. So dude. 16 feet by seven feet is the largest that, that, one. That would actually, that would actually fit my wall. 16 by seven. Uh, let me see. Two hundred fifty. My can you wall, zoom? Can you zoom in on this for us, Lucas? My wall yeah, yeah, is seventeen that? Let me get back and three to the so it would Sorry, be close. Again. 17 and three quarters. So it would be close. That'd be pretty close. You have a little border. That's fine. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Maria's. Hi, my you know, name here's is the second Isabella. question. How much power do you think this thing consumes? 
I mean, it's just LEDs. I actually don't anticipate it being that much. That is a good point. Yeah, I don't think it being all that much. But, like, look at this. You can design your wall differently every day. Yo, Ben could be an interior decorator at the age of his age. Oh, no, no, no. Fair point. Fair point. Yo, look at this shit. But more importantly, you're the shit. coolest guy around. Yeah. Get it. That's Get pretty it. cool. Get it. That's that's cool. rad, bro. Let's let's go. Let's yo. I will Get go. Uh, I'll give you five bucks into it. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal, dude. Or maybe we can go on Kijiji and say like, looking to buy this. Yeah. What, it, what if instead? What if instead I had a big wall that was a, a an etch a sketch that had the knobs on the side that you gotta like twist. But it's like on opposite sides, so like one person has control one knob, one person has control the other because they're so fucking far. Yeah, yeah. That'd also be sick. That'd be sick. Cool, so let us know when you're done. Yeah, we'll come over to play with it. Or to play with but, you. Uh, Ooh! Hello. Yeah, it's, uh, it's stressful, man, trying to figure all this shit out. Yeah, because it's spending money. As soon as you put a price oh down, God. shit, it's stressful. Cry. Every time you adjust something, why'd it go up two grand? And now all my yeah. appliances are, like, way later. Good thing I bought them. Oh, right really? Now. now I'm not getting them until, like, I was expecting them next weekend. For two weekends now, it's like no. mid July, maybe August. And I was like, Whoa. "Wow!" Is that the shortage delay. of like all like the chips yeah. and stuff? Even my table, my table is chips I bought it in appliances? March. Yeah, because all the electronics have to run through yeah, the chips, smart. like the motherboard and stuff. Um, yeah, my table sucks. I bought in March. Wow, I uh, was supposed to get it in April. I'm now getting it. I'm supposed to be getting that next week, so I should probably call them and find out. Hmm. What's the? Sh- is there chips in this table too? What's going on? I hope not. Otherwise, I'm going to return it. It doesn't come with chips like Doritos? Uh, oh, maybe. I'll ask them. Sick. That's yeah. wicked. Sorry I'll, for your I'll delay. I'll send a negative Here's review. I'll be like, there were no chips in my table. They're like, why did you want chips on your table? I bet okay. you if you complained, you know what That's how they sounded like. I don't know. I don't know what their oh. background was. I didn't want to assume, so. No, yeah, that's, so that's I just figured I'd move. imitate them and let you make your own assumptions. That, hey, nice. Yeah. I made you... enough assumptions on the last episode. I'm not going to do that again. Yeah, you just removed all racism from that's your center. True. That's amazing. Yeah. How'd you do that? Can I, can you I know, you got you to purge your system every once in a while. Just let it out. It's true. Just let it out. Look Yo, I bet you, you if you complained hard enough to like Ikea or something and complain that a desk should come with like free chips, like potato chips, and you argue hard enough where you, you're consistent at going after them, you bug them every fucking day, eventually they'll just do it. Just send you chips. Should, we should do that as a competition. Bag. Is like instigate like each person gives like okay Lee, you have to go to an appliance store and get like a free a free log like something stupid that's like nothing to do with an appliance store and like be like yo and you have to keep nagging him and just see how hard he can go until you get it or get blocked and and be willing to I, pay I'm, I'm be willing to pay extra like you're like listen the ticketed price here five grand for these appliances. I'll give you fifty two hundred if you can get me a log with it. Yeah, legit. <laughs> like, what? Yo, uh, was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. No, no, you know what though? You, you want the it. sale or not? You could do it easier on Kijiji because you could be like, "Yo, I see you're selling the sofa. If you manage to find a table that suits it, I'll pay an extra thousand dollars." So they fuck. No, yeah. no, no, Kijiji, Yo, no Kijiji. I was, own, uh, real stores only. Yeah, real, real yeah, appliance real stores stuff. and stuff. Yo, yeah. I was surprised when I was getting my appliances someone like i was like if you can give me like 200 dollars off like seven grand i was like i'll buy right now they're like i can't do it i was like what <laughs> yeah i was like i'll literally pay right now and they're like 6800 yeah. versus seven grand they wouldn't do yeah. it yeah yeah sorry where'd you buy your appliances from this i didn't buy them from here i bought them from the brick but yeah they're like, could... it's already on sale and they're like and I, the system won't let me like add it i was like they're like seriously and they're like, yeah. I bet you I could like, okay. you could escalate to a point to do wow. it. Wow! Just that they well, probably can't. I'm like, do yo, it. they're trying to make the sale. I was like, I'm like, I literally two hundred dollars. I was sixty-eight. Yeah, you, know, you, know, you know what she said? She's like, I was like, I haven't even shopped it around. So like, I'm just gonna go shop around. She's like, okay, if you change your mind, here's my card. I was like, well, I'm not gonna come back here. <laughs> that is the softest <laughs> sell ever. <laughs> yeah, I was. Wow. And, I, and like, they didn't even have to make an effort to sell me. I go, I went in knowing what I wanted. So I was yeah, like, those are the best customers. Yeah. Oh man, the guy at the brick probably blue load in his pants when i came through did he yeah probably yeah i could tell the stain in his pants i was like yeah. whoa don't stand on the couch bro i'm buying this yeah. one yeah. Like, yeah you know what sucks <laughs> though fucked. is that when you go in that excited and the salesman's too pushy so you're like i kind of don't want to make the sale for you because you fucking yes. suck like i don't yes. i don't like you yeah the, the guy i got was pretty chill he was uh yeah i, I was fine making his day 
Um, it's funny but because the flip side was so I bought like a I bought like a, a sectional that had a lot like an additional armless seat that could go in the middle as an extension. So I initially bought it without that. When I when it got delivered, I was like, it, the couch is kind of small, so I was like, I'm gonna get by it. I called this guy yesterday, and I was like, hey man, like I want to buy the piece. He's like, okay, let me put it together. This guy didn't call me back yesterday. I had to call him today, and then he put the sale through. I was like, bro, this is a free sale for you. And I'm like, all you had to do was like put it to me and send it to me. No, I, like, I shouldn't yeah. be giving it to him. I should, but wow. I was like, I do need it. So, <laughs> but I was like, I was like, bro, this. Is a, I'm like, it's a free sale. Like literally, you don't even have to do anything. <laughs> So I, I was t- I told Lucas this story uh, maybe a couple months ago, and when I went uh, couch shopping and we went to the Brick too. Which one? And, uh, the one, one near Costco. The one near the one in on Queen. Oh, Got sorry, you, I'm Got sorry. Nuts. You guys have one down there. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, have yeah. one. I have to go to Brampton. Ooh, ew, oh. yeah, gross, disgusting, not worth it. Uh, so we go in and uh, you know. They have their salespeople. The sales lady comes up to us and starts asking us questions. And I'll be honest, this lady had just the curviest body I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, how do you look like that? That's not legal. But obviously, me being a good fiance at the time, I was like, I'm going to be professional. We meet each other's eyes. That's it. That's my lady here. Don't fucking try nothing. So we're doing stuff and... She, she's like, oh, you like this couch? You like this couch? I'm like, oh, we like kind of like this couch. She's like, oh, let me just see if like we have in stock, and or if not, like how long it would be. And she like bends over to like scan the thing. I'm being real professional, and just literally, literally half a second, I went, just like a real quick. And in that half a second, in that half a second, I did this. Emma nudges me, and I was like, how the way? It was half. She, a second. she, she, baited, she was, it was a bait. She was waiting the whole time. Yeah, we were I mean, in there for like a good half hour though. So like it was thirty minutes of Emma not looking at anything but me, just watching. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Yo, what, so let me. What when she nudged you? Did you look at her? Uh, Emma. Yeah. Yeah. What did her? What? What was? What, what was her what? face? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, she was just laughing. She was like. Oh, duh. and I was like, "What do you mean? What do you like? What look, do you mean? Look, you like, look at it. Look at it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Well, it took I half say, a second out of 30 minutes what a coincidence i was before. working in my curvy outfit that day <laughs> oh, fuck, I knew it was you. Yo, that's the funny thing though is that when you do it like roles reverse like you get like let's say you go to ikea and you're like okay this guy's helping us pretty good looking guy i'm gonna see if my girl looks and like if it's the same situation like, they'll bend over i'll look and if i see them looking I'm like nice huh and then i'll be like <laughs> pretending to talk about the sofa but i'll be like nice huh like it's he did a good job. You guys yeah, did a good job on the take, sofa. Did you take your dick out too? Dick in his pants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not say. Can I take that for a ride? <laughs> the sofa, the sofa. He's like, hop on, big boy. Let me get some so, VR goggles. He looks at you, the sofa pulls out. I don't. <laughs> You're like, sold. I'm, where do I buy? Whoa. Wow. Babe, wow. babe, walk, we got to talk about finances. Can you step away for something? Babe, babe, please. <laughs> Please. We're trying to make a deal go, here. We're just gonna go to the bathroom and talk about finances. <laughs> Yo, how funny do you think a dating show would be if the three of us were on it? I know hilarious. I might be biased in saying that. I know I might be biased in saying that, but I think it'd be pretty entertaining. Yeah, I but I think the contestants would fucking hate us. Yeah, probably. They'd be like, are they trying to fuck each other or me? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because <laughs> I don't think we'd give them the, the time of the day for them to be like, like this who, Barbie who really looking asks girl. for the time of the day? That's a weird question to ask. What like, how frequently it? do people ask you what time is it? Actually, not. not... No, not that. I mean, like, you're not giving me. I know. You know I, I was going to say, mean, this guy, bro. This guy this, he didn't know. I thought you were Lucas for a second. Oh, Low was... main show, man. <laughs> <laughs> all the my favorite noodles but yeah i almost I said just... fomaine too romaine what lettuce. is that hey okay fomaine because like pho you like pho oh main? oh i gotcha <laughs> fomaine <laughs> um yeah i think a dating show with us on it would be hilarious uh, i was actually talking about it over the weekend with my uh brother and sister-in-law and wife because like I, I'm a pretty dull guy, if, and like if we're not partying, like oh yeah, you dull. are. I'll admit it. Like all I ever want to do is eat and sleep. That's it. That's all I want to do. That's what most people want anyway. Because Emma's watching the show. I don't know if you guys have watched it. Ultimatum. The ultimatum. Yes, I watched it. I watched it with Christina at Mexico. I I think I understand Wait, the con- in Mexico. 
But did he say at Mexico? So I wasn't inside Mexico. He always I was, says I was at there. I was out there. At, was Mex- at Mexico. <laughs> what a goof. It's, it's it's different. It's weird saying it like that. Like, where are you at? I'm at Mexico. No, I'm in Mexico. You, I'm not inside you're, Mexico. You're at yes, you are. But you are. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not in I'm not physically inside of Mexico. <laughs> What I'm, you I'm are? At, I'm Mexico at there. literally has borders, and you're inside of their borders. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you're in Mexico. Uh, not, not really. No. <laughs> that would almost be as weird as you if someone's like, "Yo, like, where are you at?" And you say, "I'm." In, well, I mean, you could say, "I'm in Pizza Pizza," but like, oh, no one says you, that. See? No one's. I'm. They, they would say, "I'm at Pizza Pizza." Yeah, that's true. That's right. So I'm right. No, oh, it's because that's a plate. That's that's a that's mm, like a. What's the difference? Yeah, I was gonna say. I one of them is a place. One of them is like a is like a general. It's like a general. Am I location. at a country or in a country? <laughs> no, don't tell me you're Googling. You're, this. you're in a country. That is generally used for smaller specific locations, like a that's home, at said. work, at Starbucks, at Com- Comic Con. In, in is, is like used for general. larger areas like countries, towns, and cities. Fuck you. <laughs> this guy? You this could guy say, you can like say I'm at the day. resort in Mexico. Boom. Okay. No, I don't know. I'm at there. No. No. You don't think so? I know Being wrong so. is weird. Yeah, today is not your day. It's okay. Friday night gets the best of most of us. I think every, every day that ends with Y sucks for me so. it's a bad one yeah. <laughs> it's not not good not good uh you'll get there my friend you'll get there appreciate it yeah i'm trying i'm only so i'm only you know i mean like, it's because i'm very polish right you can't really can't really get away from being a gorky so no no you a can't in my blood you from being a gorky how you say pickle in polish and he so, is a pickle so we call the polish co-workers of ours a gorky's Pickle Rick. You sound like we have a bunch. It's you and one guy. Who, and not anymore because he left. It's just me. I'm the I am for the first time. I don't know if we should be highlighting this or very proud of it. Uh, I am a minority at work. Yes, it's true. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Diversified. We are so diverse. We're coming to get you. That I'm a problem. Yeah, he is. Wait, what does that mean? I don't know, actually. I don't know. I don't he's always a problem. I don't understand that context. Sorry, Lee, Thanks. you said you had like a bunch of points you had to make today. I don't, have we touched on any of them? We touched on a couple of them. I got a bunch of other ones. Um, let me look at my notes. Um, I guess one that we can probably dig into for a little bit. You think climate change is real? No, oh, of course not. In what context? Like, uh, like to or sorry, maybe, let me rephrase it. To what extent? Okay, sorry. Do you think that climate change, in the aspect of it being this irreversible state that is destroying our planet and it's all our fault, is a real thing? I think it is all our fault. I don't. Do think it's a, I think it's. I don't think it's irreversible. But. Uh, but do you like, also think we're at this critical threshold that we're gonna destroy the planet? Uh, in. Uh, I don't. In I near don't, future. I don't know enough and why do you think it's all our fault because it like the whole thing with chernobyl is a good example like as soon as chernobyl no one was there like nature healed and like now there's like there's evolved species that can deal with or live through the the high levels of radiation but like wildlife is back and we because we haven't been there and i i don't think that's a coincidence I agree with that. I, th- I think we're affecting nature for sure, but I do think we're killing the planet. My, I'm not saying we're not. I'm just saying is I don't. Is how do we know? I don't believe in climate change. I don't believe in evolution. Those two things are just too finicky for me. Fair. I think I, uh, I, I do believe in that we uh, are affecting climate change. I think we're affecting it. We, I think we're affecting. The it. Earth is two thousand years old too. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh no, two thousand twenty-two. Obviously, obviously. Uh, um, no, but I agree that we're affecting it. But do we know the degree in which we're affecting mm-hmm. it? How do you make that calculation? How do we know uh, that's just not I, the I, way I in think... the world? Though the way I see it is because whenever you go to a different part of, let's say, even your country, like, let's say we go to cottage, a cottage up here and up north, away from the city, mm. the sky is definitely clearer at night. Everything's okay. a lot more clear. You see a lot clearer. If you see pictures of of China in the industrial sector. You can literally not look at this like the sky is just brown. Like it's disgusting. I agree. Like in other in other countries, it's different because sure. of their their uh, 
carbon footprint. Like you can visibly tell that certain countries like, yo, damn it, this air here sucks. Yeah. I think I think the other big one is um <clears throat> the rate at which like the the example of like the icebergs melting at like mm-hmm. unprecedented rates. Like I don't think sure. that's coincidence. No, I agree. I th- I think I think climate is absolutely changing. But again, I'm just saying is how do we know how much we're actually contributing and how much is actual just natural occurrences? I think they measure based on like even I guess I guess without trying to reiterate what, what I basically said, but like it, when you see what we do to pollution just from like going near a factory and stuff and seeing how much we pollute into that sky. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that gives me the feeling, but ultimately, yeah, I don't know if Even, that gets, you know, if that leaves our atmosphere or how that leaves our atmosphere. So I really don't know it's, it's climate degree. Yeah, yeah. I just know that, you know, with, as my was kind of saying, you know, like with all you talk about, you know, global warming, the icebergs melting, you know, floodings, our, our temperatures going up. I don't know how much that has to do with us or if that's just our earth is just, you know. So I have, I have two points that I think are crazy. One, did you know Canada's carbon emissions? Can you guess? roughly like, like percentage wise sure wait what what does that mean like carbon emissions like in comparison how much how much carbon trees or like in, just in, our own and in what, just our own. what in what measurement yeah okay let's say um like pounds of carbon can i no. can i can no. i offer a scale can i offer a scale sure so from like one to 20 like 830 <laughs> jackass um i don't know how to put it into scale I, I, you know if i was going to ask this question i should have asked what I, I should have looked up what the legitimate scale is so instead of me asking i'm just going to tell you is canada's carbon emissions are actually in the negative because we have so many dense forests that our forests convert carbon into oxygen more than we emit carbon i would have never known that insane okay right well, here's so why is there such a push on electric vehicles yo fuck well, here's, this place here's a skewed point to think about that that's Canada as a whole, right, as a country, Correct. because the thing with Canada is, if you look, the it's pockets not very populated. Of, yeah, it, and our we're very, we're very um, um, spread out. No, the opposite. We're very like clustered. Yeah, dense. there you go. Like yeah. dense and clustered in like certain areas, and the rest of the country is is open. So that's yeah. I think that's a little skewed because our land is so large. And I agree. I agree with that, and that all makes sense. Uh, and I get that it's also kind of a push on like everyone has to play their part to save the planet. It's not just Canada that's dying. It's the whole planet that's dying. So Canada has to do their part. That's not true. We We're going to live. That's about, yeah. Fuck yeah. We're yeah like we, have, we have to compensate for other people's lives. As as, exactly. As soon as Trudeau's out of here, we're living forever. But here's the thing that I think is crazy. Is if there's this big push about climate change and, you know, we got, we all have to use paper straws, save the environment, this and that. Why do cruise ships still exist? Sorry, why is that? Cruise ships. Because cruise ships, cruise ships are like one of the biggest pollutants and just environment destroying industries in the world. Because but if we were, what, what, what specifically yeah. about them? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one really seriously against cruise ships. <laughs> Here we go. No, uh, just fuel emissions. Um, the people on it and like the the resources they need to feed and power. Uh, a ship with thousands of people on it. What and if it was fully electric? And... Yeah, I mean, they could they could create clean sources of like even nuclear energy is pretty clean. It, is, electric, could... is electric though really that clean? Because the way that the it process is. that we create uh, without going too deep into derailing like batteries, batteries and how we still have to use carbon emissions to create yeah. electricity has yeah. to be used. That's what I'm saying. Something like a cruise ship that size and that many because the industry is so huge. Nuclear energy would be really clean. I don't know how the fuck you do it, though. I'm no geologist, but um, you should my be. point, I should go back to school for uh, geology. Yeah. Learn, totally how to me- and learn how to measure shapes. I just stuff. assume that geologists know everything. Like, it's not just about rocks. It's about how to rock your world. Woo! Fuck. Yeah. No, but my point is simply is if the government and the world is telling us that climate change is so critical why are we putting money ahead of saving a planet you know what it is though because saving the planet doesn't make things happen (laughs) i agree so (laughs) my point is but if you look at in the in the ultimate uh, perspective the world is going to die in this hand 
if we do nothing. In this end, let's make some fucking money. Like, there's no argument. You know why? You know it's argument. because the people making those decisions aren't going to be around when the planet dies. That's why. That's fair. And it's not going to happen until it's the people until it's that time. It's even it's too, too late. late. That's it's interesting. Late. That's an interesting point. It's almost like gas prices too. It's like ultimately it can be the government that can control and lower that. But what happens is, is people in the government who have the control are getting profit from that being mm. raised. Mm. So in return. They don't want to lose profit, so they're going to keep finding reasons to ignore the issue. True. Right? Yeah, um, that's fair. Yeah, I always hate that stuff, too, because, like, yeah, ultimately, everyone should be pitching in for, let's save the planet, because we all live in it. But if at doing it. the opposite... We all, live, we all live at it. Yeah, we all live at it. Yeah, uh, but if ultimately, doing the opposite just makes you happier in life because you have more things, mm-hmm. people are just going to choose that option. If I could give you, if I offered you right now ten billion dollars, or uh, let's say you clear the planet from all toxins just once, like one over, like so we had to collect all that shit again. So like, let's say you make the planet perfect again, like ozone layer is like hundred percent, glaciers are back to normal, all that good stuff. Just a one-time thing, or ten billion dollars. What are you choosing? I only know a few people who would take the clean planet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'd choose a ten billion dollars, and sure, maybe I would might you? put some of it into it. To try and no, be like justify being, like, I gain money, but like let's put someone to climate change to help. But ultimately, no, what I'd kind of I'd doing? pick the climate change. I'd pick the climate change. I don't I think so. Wouldn't. I would, because I don't have ten billion now, so my life's not changing. But I'm experiencing okay. climate change now. So but what about what, what about the color about? Ferrari you can get though? Polar bears are dying. I'm experiencing that shit. Polar that bears have so sad. They've adapted to hunt humans. Yo, fuck polar bears. A lot of people I give a fuck about. No, those things are sick. They're only cool well, you like Coca-Cola? the Coca-Cola commercial. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like Coca-Cola? I, I'm more of a Pepsi guy, so fuck them bears. Oh, Ew, what? Disgusting. Yo, are you serious? You're only because of the bears. I'm only a Pepsi fan because fuck those bears. <laughs> this guy's ride or die. I like it. I like Here's it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't know. I'm, lo- I'm loyal, bro. What do you brand what do you loyalty? Think the reason is Soda Stream doesn't have a Coke flavor, but they have a Pepsi one. Is is, is that the case? Yeah. Prob- yeah. And it's probably because you think Coke is just like, nah, like we're not. We're not yeah, that that or Pepsi reach out to him first, being like, since you guys are no name brand yet, like you guys are nothing yet. How about we put you on the market, but you have to exclusively use us? Boom, that's all. That's Maybe. all. I would see what's Maybe. on. Yo, resorts. Like, I can't believe Mexico and stuff don't use fucking soda streams with the pop with the Pepsi fucking. How much do you think they could save? Doing oh, because because they use like straight up mm. two liters in cans and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that always do they? I thought they had the little fountain thingy. I don't yeah, know so how you're those right. They work. do. They do, do have they? the fountain. They do have some, I don't but know like how for... that works. Like, what is, is it, it like a fountain content? machine just with a? Oh, yeah, well, that's why. That's why when you look Maybe at like the fountain drinks, stupid ass thing. No, no, yeah. but that's why when you look at the fountain drinks, like let's say at Costco or something, when it's pouring down, you'll see like the Coke. It's like brown, and like you'll see like the liquid water. at the same time. It's because it's mixing with water. Like they give you like the the dilution that you mix with water but it mixes yeah. them at the same time it comes Syrup. out you get yeah those those little fountain yeah, wand yeah. things also do the same thing that's right so, lucas do you think you could use oh, like okay. one of those syrups in a soda stream but just with like your vodka instead you know how you used to do like crystal light <laughs> that's disgusting so just like coke and vodka with like no water but, like, what a flavor he likes i, I think uh, so we talked about this before because we have people in our in our high school who used to vaporize alcohol and inhale it to That's get fast. drunk super fast. Oh and stupid. then we had heard, not someone from my high school, but other people were doing this. And one person fell into a coma because it was like some sort of like, uh, yeah, it's like really pneumonia and amnesia or something like that. Some, some weird thing. But basically what happened was, yeah, like it got into the lungs, just wasn't clearing it. Like started killing off their lungs, basically went into a coma. Um, that but, person but, but that's what happens is you pressure it. What they did was they would, they'd put in a two liter bottle put like a bicycle pump through it, like the nozzle, and you just pressurize the fuck out of it. And then eventually you release it and you just inhale really quick. And it's only vodka in a two liter bottle, like just like a quarter vodka. It's it a lot fucked. Of fucking vodka. So I wonder if you did that, that with a soda stream, terrible. if you get the same effect and really ride or die, baby. <laughs> That's nuts, bro. I don't want to try it. I'm yeah. streaming. I don't want to try it. I'm streaming for forever dreaming, baby. Yeah, you should try and do it with rum. Do a rum and Coke uh, soda stream. Do that, that taste like? No, do it. Do an eggnog soda stream. Ew! No one wants carbonated eggnog. You want carbonated egg, bro? No. Actually, you selfish bastard. 
I actually don't really like drinking carbonated alcoholic drinks except for these gin and tonics. That's the only thing I drink carbonated. <clears throat> really? That's very interesting. Yeah. I'm like, because usually when I'm drinking, I'm like drinking to get lit. So I'm going to drink a bunch of drinks. And you I have a can't... problem. <laughs> I do. Wait, uh, actually, is that, or is it, is it worse if you drink alcohol because you enjoy alcohol? No, I think. I think anything in moderation is fine. No, but that's, it, that's a... such, that's such a downer thing to say. Let's think about the ups, baby. Well, the thing is, is like I don't drink to get lit often. I don't think I ever drink to get lit. I I, I drink because I want to. I enjoy it, and then I just get lit as a byproduct. Yeah. Do you enjoy taking shots with the squad? Because I don't. I no, do. that's why I like, don't. Like socially, I enjoy it. Yo. Oh, in, but like, do you? I don't know. Physically, physically, I don't know if yeah. you guys know this. Okay. In Mexico, I probably had two shots the whole trip. One was one was to was that no. wedding night. No, that's not true. No, that is true. That's not true. That is I couldn't even true. count. I've seen shots. you take three. I've seen you take three. When did I take three shots? So one at the wedding when we got, uh, when we yeah, when first we entered there. and we had to do that as a greeting. Then Greg had pulled us over and you had done another one with us. And then I have no, you a third no, no, one on I walked video. Away. I have I you was... a third one on video, baby. This guy said three versus Caught. my two. And I walked Caught. away from Red the hand. time Greg tried to do one with us. That's I not said, true. That's not true. It is true. He literally took it with you and you said, ah. I love vodka. I'll take a third shot tonight, baby. <laughs> no, I did not. I don't even shoot vodka. I don't even drink. That, no, that, Lucas that, is that Johnny Depp's lawyer, and Matt is Amber Heard getting wrecked. Bro, right. I got receipts. I got receipts right here. That... Maddie, twelve oh five p.m. <laughs> shots, baby. Three oh three p.m. <laughs> shots, baby. And can I get a? Where, where's that receipt? Yo, five a.m. That, that is that long. Shut. It, it's it's Walmart receipt. It's Walmart. What did what you, you do? Buy? Yeah, how much? The I collected fun? everyone's receipts and I made an Excel spreadsheet. I'm Why? Such a, I'm such a. Oh, know, to I'm, divvy up I, costs. I made it to like divvy up who has to you transfer who. So basically, subtracted from other people's bills. So only so you only. No, bro. You, you know, you know, like banks have an app now to do that. Do they? That's cool. To do what? Like you could do put what? in the receipt amount is like twenty four. To like 240 and you send it yeah, to but, who you want to split but, it but with. S- but some people had multiple receipts so i just i i got everyone's receipts at the end and just put into excel spread it was just easy because i just do like some of and you, you just know what i like everyone's it's i like easy. the way i like the way we do cottages yes just i agree like buy shit and we're done yeah because no we just do like yo everyone everyone for yourself and then it will just be like yo but we're gonna do one group dinner barbecue like all that Matt, good stuff just do your own thing bro and one yeah, day so- it will just be like yo bring up your snacks I got everything else. That's yeah. one day what I hope. Well, Boom. even uh, myself and a few of my other groups of friends is that each person or each couple, because it's usually couples, like five couples, are in charge for each meal. So like this couple's in charge for breakfast this day, all that good stuff. And it just makes that's it cool. easier. What if they're shitty that's breakfast easy. people? That's, so that's the thing that, that worries me. I is don't that eat breakfast. I fast. That or people don't bring enough food right we've never had that issue luckily we've always had people who are good reliable would have like three options for each meal so like let's say breakfast some people would do pancakes some people would do eggs some people will do like like uh avocado and toast uh so we'd cover like the three bases of that person basicness and then yeah dinner same thing salad you know pasta salad excuse me noodle salad (laughs) noodle salad low main Cho main, <laughs> maybe some like, foam main. Cho main, what you saying? Cho main, yo, I saw uh, Doctor Strange last weekend, and? and better than I thought. That's good. I Jake I said it. it was a seven point six. I don't know how he got that number. But... How do you get so I mean, off? Like, like, but what? Why well, wasn't a seven point five? Like, what made it one point zero one over a seven? He said, 7. The, cam- 5. He said the cameos and the people you see in it is what made it more than a seven point five. Interesting. So yeah. a point one was just for cameo. So I'm assuming the cameos are like okay. No, they're like. It's true. Like, he was like they were bomb. He's like you would. But if, if it only cameos increases from seven point one to seven, sorry, seven point five from seven point six only because cameos and that yeah, point one's worth right. the cameos. It's true. Tell Jake to reassess. This is bullshit. Fuck yeah, him. He's gotta. He's gotta Not go back to drawing board. Without, I won't spoil anything, but I'll just let you know what I went in thinking it was gonna be like. He thought it was a doctor movie. Like, I wouldn't. <laughs> like Grey's Anatomy. I went in thinking it was just going to be a transition piece where it's just purely like to he was set a up. male and then is a female? Exactly. Oh, okay. uh, I thought it was just going to be to set up future movies. And I thought it was going to be a bunch of fan favors and really no story or content. It's just, hey guys, here's a bunch of shit so we could set up a bunch of movies. Have fun. Bye. Right. But it was more than that. And I was like, you know what? 
I dig. I dig. I heard, yeah. it, I heard it was like more like a horror movie too. It's it radar, was, no? It was cool. No, it's not radar. It was cool because yeah, it had a horror vibe to it. Like it was, like, it was definitely. Sense? So it was definitely gorier than any Marvel movie, which isn't that hard because no Marvel movie is actually gory. Gory, and it was PG. Yeah. It. Yes. Well, because like they they hid a lot of it, but it was still it was more violent than any like, other Marvel. Movie. Like they pan the camera away, but it's like like their bodies like <laughs> kind kind of exploding yes. kind of kind of and <laughs> it, it, one of the things i really liked about it is like it still had that marvel vibe to it but yes you could tell they're trying to do some scary things and one of the things i loved about it is they did that like cliche uh horror movie piano key you know and like i don't know how to describe it but it's just like yeah, someone like, like sweat yeah, yeah 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 they did that like several times and like sometimes the parts were like it didn't fit so like you can tell they're just mocking horror movie that point, and I'm like, you know, I I actually dig it. Like I fucking love this. This is hilarious. Interesting. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I saw a meme the other day where where I was like talking about uh, what, what's her name, uh, Scarlet Witch's character. Yeah. And she's like, so you get to destroy the multiverse, uh, and it's cool, but if I do, it's not fair. And then it's like Doctor Strange replying, like, sorry, I didn't watch your shitty show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's fair. Yeah. Yo, but visually. Sure. Gorgeous movie to look at. Gorgeous movie to look at. I, I will look at it. I'll give it a look. Look, just I'm hoping to give it a look real soon. Do it. Oh, we took once over. Like a and watch it at home. Hype. All right, guys. What are you thankful for? It's that time. It's that time. It's the time. We we're talking about it earlier. I am thankful, and I've probably said this before, but if I want a sub, I just go out and get a sub. I want yeah. a burger. I go out and get a burger. The yeah. fact that I have that much choice in my life that I can yeah. get things that are simple to us. Yeah. But third world countries obviously are like, dude, that's crazy that you can just get like food just sent to you. You can just buy a cake. It. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Like at any point in time, if I'm hungry, I can get said food. No yes. problem. Yep. Excuse me. Yep. That's legit. That's legit. What about you? Um, Yo, I'm, I'm ugly. I was going to say, I'm thankful for light rights. Uh, that shit made my childhood. Those things are sick. The satisfaction of popping the little jewel in the paper. I think I only ever had like sick. one light bright, or and I uh, got it when I was like old, so like I didn't even use it a lot. Oh my god, you're yeah. missing out. Light brights, my jam. I'm so grateful those were made. Um, I am thankful for. Excuse me. Oh god, there's so many things. Yo, I am actually thankful for uh, this warp speed charger that I have. It's very convenient to charge my phone wirelessly in thirty minutes. That's not an even a, that's not even an ad. Thirty minutes. Wow, that's yeah. quick. So now I don't ever charge my phone overnight because I'll just be like, my phone can charge in half an hour. I don't have to ch- charge it ever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, sick. and you work wow. from home, so it's like fuck it. Yeah, but I'm gonna well, have them around well, my house. We're, we're so flexed. if you have if you have cool uh. If you got wireless charging, don't worry about bringing your charger here. I got you. If Sick. you do, if you don't have wireless charging, I guess you just like you're one of those people that has to bring their charger with them wherever they go. So Gross. don't be that Gross. person. Actually, that's yeah. what I'm thankful for. Not the I'm thankful for wireless charging in general. <laughs> that's legit. That don't, shit's it's still magic to me. That on Bluetooth, don't understand. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'll get crazy. there. We're in crazy world. Yeah, it's weird when you think about like what the future could hold because of wireless charging capabilities like how soon till it's like you don't even have to put it on something and it can just like transmit the power can you imagine wireless charging your car where like, what, your, like driveway, when it's your driveway is actually yeah. wireless charging bro solar yeah. solar panels are basically like that like they're tesla models that yeah but it like just makes your car look like... ugly no 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 it's like it's like integrated into the hood into like the glass roof but it's like solar panels interesting yeah that's pretty cool. That's grateful pretty cool for too. that too. Then fuck it. Cool sure. I'm I'm grateful for that as well. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, everyone. See ya. See ya.